Alright YouTube, we're, I'm going to show you how to uh, utilize cheats in Project 64. Alright, so first off we need to make sure that we're running as administrator and open up Project 64. And then we need to allow ourselves to uh, see hidden menus. So go to the options and hide advanced settings. Go ahead and make sure that that's unclicked and then go to OK. Now there's two ways that we can do this uh, with the code. First of uh, the two is on your ROM list here. Select the game that you want. So in this case, I'm going to go with GoldenEye 64. Right click and go to Edit Cheats. And it should come up with your list of available cheats. Now these are ones that are already preloaded. You can add your own here and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. But select which ones you want. So uh, if I want all multiplayer characters, just go ahead and right click. And close out. And as you can see, I clicked on this little thing here. This will allow us to add a new cheat. I'm, since I have this open, I might as well show you. Just go to new cheat here. And uh, it supports game shark code. So let's go to new cheat. And then you go ahead and name it whatever you want. And if this code that you want is not anywhere here, uh, find a game shark code, open up Google, there we go, Nintendo game shark codes. Here's Goldeneye, and as you can see, here's a lot, let's go with this one, sunglasses mode, a copy paste that up there and now we need that code address so I'm going to go back here copy and paste that and then add new cheat there we go sunglasses mode alright so just go ahead and close that now that other way that we can do this is open up your ROM so in this case GoldenEye Accidentally clicked out. Starting up, go to system and go to cheats. Now, as you can see, same thing here. It opened up everything. So you select what you want and you can go through the process like I did before. Right there. Alright, so there you have it. That's how you can add cheats and utilize cheats in Project 64. Go ahead and uh, give the video a like if it helped you out. Give a subscribe and I will have other videos on other emulators on how to set those up and utilize the programming. Alright, thanks for watching.